Yes, the boys, welcome back to another video. We are on the way to the new gym for Hull. So we're well in the routine now at the gaff. It's been over a week. I've enjoyed having the office. I was obviously training at Meritor. Now, I absolutely love Meritor. It's my favorite gym I've ever been a member of by an absolute country mile. Not even close, but I'm busier than I've ever been in my whole entire life. Coaching is the massive priority. Obviously, when I'm in the gym, I absolutely smash my own stuff and I always have my own goals to hit, absolutely. However, I cannot rush what I do with the boys. So if it was just for me, then I'd travel however far. But on, so just over a week ago now, I went to Meritor for push, right? And it took me, because of the time I come back with like schools and, and stuff like that, it took me an hour to get home. Now, when I've got stuff to do, I can't, I can't take an hour. Like, I'm literally saving myself a good 30 to 40 minutes in traveling by coming to this gym here. And that's massive. Like, literally 10, 20 minutes in the morning is huge. Like, if I'm 20 minutes off my normal routine, throws me off massively you know I've got to be I can have a heavy workload and I can coach the people who I coached to keep that standard always high but I have to be nice and organized and I can't be wasting any time especially in the day especially in the morning so that's why we've uh, we've made the switch so the gym I keep forgetting the name of the gym it's called I think it's Allegiance or Alliance it's one of those but it's very very good anyway it's literally just opened up um, in Warrington. So it's about, literally, if I get there in the next 11 minutes, that'd be 25 minutes and I probably am gonna. So it's around that 20, 20 to 25 minutes, which for me, I've not had that short of a journey to the gym for a long, long time. You boys will have been watching and following me. You'll have seen I've been, I've been bouncing around gyms a little bit and it's, you know, through, I haven't I haven't been meaning to at all. You know, I'd love to, to still train at Meritor, but it's just too far. I'll be going, you know, for the one-off session, but on the daily, like today's a Tuesday, I just need something closer that's it's still a very, very good gym. This like it's really, really good. All the people are really nice, fantastic kit, it's a newer gym, so you know, I'll support them as much as I can. But yeah, had had some nightmares with obviously where I was originally training with them banning filming and just being absolute just idiots to me for no reason so that was that one and then moved to another gym that was just taking me way too long ended up starting going to Meritor which like I said I absolutely love it there but it's just a bit too far so we're in for pull today the gaining phase is going very very well boys it's moving phenomenally well so I'm in such a good spot with training so I'm excited to get in there now and nail it one thing I have done is move the session the, the volume down in this session just because I was coming out of this absolutely fried and I had this chat with one of my clients Kieran he was feeling a little bit demotivated going into them sessions and essentially because we were on the same volume since he started he's got a lot stronger in that time and I said to him look like those sessions will just be taking way too much out of him as that you know the, the load's gone up his, his intensity's gone up you know he can't keep doing the same volume he was so he's brought that down and I feel like it's the same with my pulls like these first six sets are back now for back in this session I'm training it again on Saturday it's more than enough volume so I've brought the volume down a little bit you'll see that there so I'll chat to you when we get in there I'm about 10 minutes away I'm gonna drink the pre now first movement is gonna be the lat pull down and get that lat short whilst we're nice and fresh I don't really want that pull down towards the end of my session so that's what I'll program for and then we'll move on to upper back so I'll show you the kit in there I'll show you around a little bit and we will get pull absolutely annihilated boys let's get it lately it's looking like everything perfect out the mud with it i put the work and you can find me where that turf is pin precision like a surgeon bad ones used to curb me showing up to the show when the curse split she know that i'm worth it i'm finna go up i'm aerial i got the hit stash got a bracelet for impact real tricky quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack quick stack think fast and i talk real i give a fuck about how they feel me and zay just dropped a propane and it sounded like massive pill for my dog i'm a ride to the wheels kill got his hand on the hammer so keep it legit I've been the man with the blueprint, almost 
talk till I own every brick. I used to lay out in the lounge just to feel the world spin on its axis. Now I got the access and the last laugh got it off of the passion. I keep it a hundred on the dash now that we got our subtraction. Slick talker, I'm a showstopper, you are not solid. Tread cost you couldn't go a mile in my toe box. Stun a shade with the visine. Light it up and bring the vibe in. So one thing I'll go through a lot with clients is them feeling their biceps too much in their lat work. So like with this, what I'm not doing is thinking about coming back. I'm thinking about just driving that elbow straight down. So again, another reason why I love straps, forget about your hands, just think about that upper arm straight down. I'm not necessarily thinking about back, I'm thinking about that upper arm staying tucked, down, contract hard. If you do that on your rows and your pull downs for lats, you'll feel your lat a lot more. So have a pause in that contraction, feel that, keep that control. Have a pause at the top, keep that all on your lap the whole set. And take that all the way there. Lats will be smoked, I promise you. So when you've got a lot of machine work in there, make sure you're noting down what settings you have the machine on. Because in terms of keeping things standardized, that's gonna be ridiculously important, right? So I know I've got seven on the chest pad, which is there. And then I've got the C on three. So then I know when I've got that on there, that's going to be the same then every single week. So if I progress that with control, that's the same. And I know for a fact if I'm progressing or not. And it stops me, obviously, just doing this where it's going to be uncomfortable. And even if I wasn't logging training, I don't want to waste sets because I'm uncomfortable and I'm faffing around with this. So I can just get ready to go. So I've got two and a half plates on the top pin and two plates on the middle pin my top set now so that's just going to drop off a little bit as i get short which is perfect so in terms of the upper back allowing some contraction now driving the upper arm back and really retracting as well so focus on that with your upper back work some slight contraction shoulder coming forward we're driving that upper arm back and we're retracting we're contracting really hard there at the top so i'll get warm you'll see me doing that now i won't talk too much because music's pretty loud but let's get the I told her make sure that phone is on silent so we know I'm what the vibe is Take a look at my iris, I think she know that I'm high risk I never know what the time is, I never know where my mind went Hey, I got a lot on my plate, I got an eye on the prize And I'ma make sure that we straight, yeah Look, it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize and I'ma make sure Seven that reps to beat here boys, hey, top set I got a lot on my plate. Let's get it I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight coin in the waterfall send the wishing well now i get plenty coin himself made you ain't gotta wish me well you ain't like me then but i guess it's past tense because you tapped in you was never who you said i see the facade when looking they really be that quick to tell my guard up i ain't taking nails if it's not in my favor won't sign a deal i got the royalty in the mail i got authority in the field take a look in my iris i be precise with the timing i move on a touch that's the high risk i never know where my mind went hey I got a lot on my plate. I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. Yeah. Like it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. I'ma make sure that. Hey, I got a lot on my plate. I got an eye on the prize, and I'ma make sure that we straight. Yeah. Like it's a lot on my mind, and I got an eye on the prize. So sure essentially, all I'm thinking about doing here, I'm holding the mic because it's loud. But I'm gonna hold onto this with my resting arm. Single arm aligned perfectly. All I'm thinking about here is that, again, elbow down. So keeping that tucked in there, down, contract the lat. Keep that all through the lat. I think about keeping my elbow at its lowest point still. Lengthen the lat, feel that. Lead with that upper arm coming back. Don't yank at this. If I yank at this, upper arm come out, elbow flexion, shoulder comes forward. Keep locked. Upper arm back, down, contract. Do that on your lat rows, they'll be smoked. Let's get these drilled. I'm gonna go up a little bit heavier than last week. Those two sets both progress, so everything's progressed already. Let's nail these two. And then we're gonna move on to rear delts and biceps. Get them absolutely drilled. Let's get it.
that is session absolutely drill boys top session to be fair i brought the volume down a little bit just because i found i was coming out of that session feeling absolutely battered the camera's wobbling <coughs> so it's a very good gym as you'll see some of the kit that i use anyway and set up them sessions perfectly but it's a lot of change obviously new house new gym new routine so i'm still just kind of finding my feet with that i'm not i'm not massive with change like it's all very positive change i've been with lucy for 10 years so we needed we needed our own house it was about time and obviously it's literally the perfect house for both of us so that's what we've got now and that's that's what we're very happy to be in but we're still just settling into that routine one thing i need to do is go to bed earlier Lucy goes to bed later than me because I'm up early. So I need to make sure I was going I'm going to bed when I was going to bed because at the moment if I get like less than seven hours consistently, I feel smoked. And right now I feel pretty smoked. Like I can still get everything done, but I don't want to be like having to push through to do everything, do you know what I mean? So I need to get to bed. So that is number one on the list. Bed tonight earlier. But Coco Pops are late. Let's get home, boys. It's only a nice little 25 minutes for me. That's not a lot. We'll get off. We shall return home. I have got, like I said, the Cocoa Pops there. And then I've got two consults tonight. One in America, which is always, uh, always exciting. Always cool when I've got somebody overseas. We've got a few of the boys overseas and it's always, it's always cool. So, I'm gonna get home, boys. I will see you back at the gaff when I've got some food in me. Yes, the boys, right. It is now the next day. Check-ins are done for the day. Form analysis is done for the day. And I am just gonna finish editing this video and then get it out. So if you've watched it, honestly, boys, please like, please comment. Make sure you subscribe. I do appreciate any support. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a message anytime and let me know because I do really, really appreciate it, boys, when I get a message through and someone's watched the video and they've actually taken something from it and they've enjoyed it. So we will leave that one there. Anything you want to see now in the new gym, please let me know because there's some big, big sessions incoming there. And as you can see, we're in the office. If you would like to join the coaching Coliseum team, and you are interested at all in coaching boys, literally just click the link in my bio and in the description here. Give me your basic information and we will just have a chat about what you're trying to do. Does not mean you've signed up, doesn't mean you've started. We will just have a chat boys. Thank you very much for watching. Big videos incoming the end of this year and all next year. Make sure you're subbed. Let's go.